Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man Teasy's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list today. And as always, <clears throat> if you see a new kanji today, we're going to go over its uh, readings, its meanings, and how to pronounce it. And we'll go over the radicals that make up the kanji and try and think of a fun way to remember it. If we see a new word but it's made of kanji, we already know we're just going to go over the meanings of the two kanji and how they come together to make our new word. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me write stuff out and say it out loud a bunch of times, head on over to YouTube. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. Our first word of the day is a storo. A storo is a straw. A drinking straw. Uh, creepy face. That slightly gets a little friendlier as you look at it. Straw. Storo is a drinking straw or straw like animal feed straw storo is straw storo storo number 2 is chu to hanpa chu to hanpa is a halfway measure unfinished incomplete or half baked thing chu to hanpa is our noun for halfway Chu to chu on the left side for in the middle to on the right side chu to is one word for in the middle of uh, a path or in the middle of uh, a journey, and han is another uh, word is another kanji meaning half and pa on the right side meaning an edge or a verge so on the edge of halfway chu to han pa is stopping in the middle of a road halfway stopping at the verge of half. When you're on some path or on some road, chu to hampa is halfway measures or something done halfway. Chu to hampa. Chu to hampa is a halfway measure, something incomplete or done halfway. Chu to hampa. Chu to hampa this. Let me look up the pronunciation for this one. Because I might be putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Chu to hampa is halfway. Chu to hampa. Chu to hampa. Chu to hampa is halfway or halfway measures. Chu to hampa. Number three is funi, moving to a different location to start a new job. With fu on the left side, our kanji for facing, or um, kind of in this case taking up in person. <clears throat> And nin on the right side for responsibility, your duty. So this is taking up a new position in a different location, or fu nin, facing your new responsibilities. Fu nin is moving locations to start a new job. Fu nin. Fu nin. Literally translated facing one's duties. Actual translation, moving to a new position. Moving to get a new position, or moving to fill a new position. Funin. Funin is moving locations to fill a new position start a new job funi number four is kiwamari nai kiwamari is an extreme with the kanji for an extreme or an extremity kiwamari nai is our word for today meaning no boundary or no extreme extremely or in the extreme literally again moving past an extreme or not having one literally translated boundless or limitless kiwamari nai 
it's having no bounds, having no extremity. Kiwa Mari Nai. Kiwa Mari Nai is boundless. Kiwa Mari Nai. Number five is saeru. Saeru is to be clear, to be vid, vivid, to be alert, or to look up beat. Saeru, our new intransitive verb for being clear, vivid, or a look up beat. This is the new kanji today uh, with the meanings to be clear, cold, or skillful with the water droplets hanging off of a tooth. This is a tooth radical on the right side here. Um, the way I'm thinking about this is if you see an animal and he's just made a kill, he's got water or blood dripping off of his fangs, that's going to sober you up and like, like splashing water on your face, um, and, uh, make it very clear what you should do next, if you will. Be clear or cold or skillful. To be alert is the closest meaning that I like to this kanji, but also to be clear or to be vivid. Go. Colt are our alternate pronunciations, or saeru, our intransitive verb for being clear, alert, or skillful. Saeru, kani go, or ko. Saeru, kani go, or ko. Is to be clear, skillful, or alert. Much like what would happen if you saw blood dripping from the fangs of a nearby predator. It will be very clear headed and alert. Go. Ko. Or sairu. Sairu is to be vivid, clear. More skillful in something. Sairu. Saeru. To be vivid or clear. Number six is a ka go. Ka from kagaku for chemistry and go on the right side for a combination. A ka go is a chemical combination. This one's a pretty straight translation. A ka go. And though the kanji on the left side really just means change, since kagaku is the study of change, ka is also uh, the same kanji is used in a lot of words having to do with chemistry. Kago is literally translated a chemical combination. Much like yesterday's word, a ka sen, or a chemical fiber, a synthetic fiber, has more to do with chemistry than change. Kago is a chemical combination. Number seven is a kaigo. Kaigo is the act of nursing, care, caregiving, or caring, with go on the right side for safeguarding and protection, and kai on the left side for concerning oneself with. So a kaigo, sorry, or so kaigo is nursing, or the act of protecting, or the act of concerning oneself with protecting someone else's health. Kaigo is nursing or caregiving. 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 is nursing or caregiving. Kaigo is nursing or caregiving. Number eight is kan so. Kan on the left side for simple or plain, and so on the right side for elemental. So this is something elementally simple or fundamentally simple. Kan so is simple, plain, or modest. I think it's probably a noun or a not adjective. Yeah, this is a not adjective. For simple, plain, or modest. 
console having a simple base or element console a simple plain or modest console a simple plain or modest console elementally or at its core it is simple console Simple, plain, or modest. Console is simple, plain, or modest. Console this. Number nine is a kaido. Kai on the left side for a city, I think. Or a boulevard and do on the right side for a street so a kaido is literally translated a town street but it is literally the main road in a town or a highway that goes through the town a kaido is the road main road of a town or the highway that goes through the town the kaido kaido The main road of a town or the highway that goes through the town. I guess for a lot of cities, at least in America, a lot of times the main road that goes through the town is the Kaido. Or the highway, sorry. Kaido is a highway or the main road that goes through a town, a Kaido. Literally translated, a town street, the town's street. Kaido is a highway or a main road. Kaido this. Number 10 is Hogaraka for cheerful, merry, sunny, bright, fine, or clear. Another na adjective. Alternately pronounced ro, this kanji has the radicals for good on the left side and a moon on the right side. So a good moon is melodious, clear, bright, serene, or cheerful. Uh, serene beauty is often are often words used to describe moons, so hopefully we can remember that a good moon is melodious, clear, or bright. Ro hokani hogaraka is cheerful, melodious, or bright. Hoga Araka. Hoga Araka is cheerful, merry, sunny, bright. Can also mean bright, fine, or clear. Hoga Araka. Hoga Araka is melodious, bright, cheerful, or serene. Hoga Araka. Hokani ro is melodious, serene, beautiful, or clear. Hogaraka, hokani ro. Hogaraka. Hogaraka desu. Hogaraka. Hogaraka, hokani ro, is melodious, serene, beauty, beautiful, or clear. Let's go check out the pronunciation of this real quick. Hogaraka, Japanese pronunciation. Hogaraka, shotto batte ne. Hogaraka is cheerful, merry, sunny, or bright. We got that one right too. Hogaraka. Number 11. It, let me do that one more time. Hoga, hogaraka. 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 Is melodious, clear, bright, or serene? Number 11 is Samo. 
Sumble is another one of those conjunction words, in this case, an adverb that means really, truly, or evidently, or in that way. Samo. You probably heard Samo naku. Samo naku is not truly or evidently, but Samo is truly, evidently, or in that way. Samo. Is our new adverb for in that way, samo. Samo this. And finally, number 12 is kyohi. Kyo on the left side for refusing, and hi on the right side for negative. So this is a refusal in the negative, a refusal, rejection, denial, or veto. A kyohi is a refusal, denial, or rejection. Kyohi is a refusal, denial, or rejection. A kyohi. Kyohi is a refusal or denial. Kyohi this. Kyohi. Kyohi is a refusal or a denial. Now that we made some nice little flags in our memory for how to remember these new kanji and words, let's go back to the top. Make sure we've got them all down, at least for the time being. We don't have them fully memorized until we make flashcards and use them a bunch. And uh, then we see these in, you know, our kanji readings uh, as we study Japanese every day in TV or manga. Our first word of the day was a drinking straw or a straw with a sutoro. Toro is a straw. Halfway or halfway measures are chu to hampa. Chu for the middle. To. Chu to for stopping halfway. Han for half. And pa on the right side for a. Um, the verge of something, in this case, the verge of the center, chu to hampa, it's halfway incomplete or half baked. Moving to a different location to start a new job is funin, fu on the left side for facing, <coughs> fu on the left side for facing in person. I forgot this kanji, I'm gonna have to write it down a few more times. Fu. On the left side, to mean facing something in person, but it can also mean to proceed, tend, get, or become. In this case, we're going to use proceed to proceed to your new responsibilities. Is who mean? Who mean? Proceeding on the left and new responsibilities on the right. Who mean? It's transferring jobs, transferring locations to take up a new job. Extremely are in the extreme, but more closely to literal translation is boundless with kiwamari nai. Kiwamaru. Kanji on the left side for an extreme. And mari nai in hiragana for does not have a kiwamari or an extreme. To be clear, to be vivid or alert, or to look up beat is saeru, our intransitive verb for looking clear or in good spirits. Saeru. Hokani go or ko can also mean clear, cold, or skillful. A chemical combination is a kago. This is a literal translation. Kago is literally chemical plus combination. Nursing care or caregiving is putting attention on or taking up the protection and safeguard of someone. Ka plus go. Kango fu no go. Simple, plain, or modest is uh, kan so. Kan on the left side for simple or plain. And so on the right side for elementally. Elementally simple is kan so. 
Kansou desu. A main road or a highway is a kaito, or sorry, a kaido. Kai on the left side for a city, plus do on the right side for a street. Chiyo for all merry, sunny, bright, fine, or clear is our good moon with hogaka, hogaraka, hogaraka, hogaraka. Is cheerful, merry, sunny, bright, fine, or clear? Hogaraka. Hogaraka desu. With our good moon. Hogaraka. Raka in hiragana. <coughs> Evidently, truly, or um, <coughs> really, or in that way, is samo. Our new adverbial conjunction. And finally, a refusal, rejection, or denial is a kyohi. Kyo on the left side for a refusal, and he on the left side, or sorry, on the right side for a negative or no. Kyohi. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.